Hello everybody, welcome back to the episode of my Mom's Boss episode. I'm going to be showing you how you can use the Look At Gizmo in Rec Room. If you guys do enjoy this video, please subscribe, it means a lot. Also like the video, tap the bell, you know what to do, and let's get straight into it. Alright, so the first thing you gotta do is pull out your maker pen. You can do that by A, grab it behind your back if you have it favorited, which I'll show you how to do in just a sec. Or you can do it by going to your watch menu, going to backpack, tools, and then maker pen. Hit use, and I'll summon right in front of you. Or, let me just unfavor it real quick. You see this little favorite button, if you hit that, then you can just grab it from behind your back, like so, so that disappears. Grab it from behind my back. Now you want to look at this little black screen, so angle it up, look at it, and then I'll that will open up the Maker Pen menu. I'm going to hit the button in the top left, which will open up the palette. And now you want to go to Gadgets. I'm going to go down to Gizmos. And you want to get the Look At Gizmo. Next, we need something that actually follows you because players can't see Gizmos in game. So we're just going to have a little bit. Uh, we'll just have like a pyramid, I guess. And make sure you have it on this little yellow stub on the. Um, on the look at gizmo, uh, you don't actually have to have it here, but it's just easier that way. It'll make it, um, it'll make it look like it's following you more if you do it like that. Kind of hard to explain. Um, so now we're just gonna make this not grabbable. Um, yep, let's make that not grabbable. I'm gonna edit this, and you want to do object or player. Um, so that's what you want it to follow. I'm gonna be doing player for this example. Um, and then I wanted to track my head, and player role, it says none at the moment because we don't have a player role, and then you can just do average or closest, we'll do closest, and there we go. So now we have our look at gizmo all set up, now we need to actually get a role that it can track. So to do that, got to go to gadgets, game chips, go to the second page and get yourself a role chip. Um, well, at the moment it's on the second page, but it might be on a different page in the future. And now you're going to hit configure on this by going to your maker pen menu and then clicking it. Um, I'll just name this role bruh. Edit role. This is just different settings in it. Uh, I actually, you don't actually have to edit any of that, so you can just leave that. Although you can take a look at it if you want. Um, and now you need a role mapper. Once again, it's on the second page currently, but it could be on a different page in the future as they add more gadgets slash gizmos. Now you want to hit configure on the role mapper. And it, most of the time, it will be on player has role, or I think like all the time. You want to switch it to add player role. And then player role, it should say bruh, because you created a role called bruh. Um, obviously, you can name it whatever you want. It's triggered. It will add player role, bruh, to a player um, that sent out the signal. You can also do this for team, which is this, yellow, uh, this green pin, but I think it's easier just to do it with the red. And so now we need something to activate. So you can have it activate any way you want. You can have it when they press a button, toggle button, um, when they go um, into a trigger volume, which is what I'm going to be doing. Um, so yeah, so you can do whatever. Um, button, trigger volume, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to be using trigger volume for this, though. And you want to wire any one of these. So I'm just going to wire the red one, which is when someone enters a trigger zone, then it will send out a signal. And so when it sends out a signal, it will give the player the roll. So, when I walk through this, you can see the line flashes, see that? So I mean, I now have the roll called bra, which means this will now follow me when I activate it, but there's actually one more thing we have to do, we have to wire this stub to that. Don't think I said that earlier, so just wire this stub to that. And now that I have the roll bra, and this is wired. All we gotta do is go to configure on this, play role, go to bra, and then what you wanna do is you can either just hit configure on this and then give an input of one, or you can just do it any other way by uh, via trigger volume or button. So we're just gonna do button, so props, dynamic. Let's get a button. Uh, we'll just call it um, sub. Scribe. There we go. Um, and you want send player as a uh, si single output. Um, that's because if you do, it will just uh, send the output as in it's coming from the creator. Just how if you don't check that box and you have a teleporter set up, every time someone presses it, it won't 
um, send the person who pressed it, it will just send the creator the room or the host, I'm pretty sure. And then we can just connect this button any way you want, so one of these pins, anyone's fine. Just connect it to that. And then, boom. Um, and so, as you can see, it goes to my head. Now, the reason why it's not constantly following me is because it's a button and bunch of short output. If you want to constantly follow you, you can uh, either do, you can do a few things actually. So we can wire this to the green. So if I hold it down, it'll constantly follow me. Like so. We can do the same thing with a, tr take one of you, bring it over here. And I can hook up the green on this to that. So when I'm in this area, it'll start tracking me. And then when I get out of the area, it will stop tracking me. Or what you can do if you want it tracking a player all the time, you can just go to configure, hit this little red circle, and you can change this on slash off, uh, on slash off. you can set it to a value of 1, which will be a constant one, so then it will track me all the time. But let's just say you don't want it to track your head, what well, if you want it to track your hand, or something like that. So you can do hands, which I'm, I'm assuming, yeah, so it just tracks the closest hand. Or you can have it track one hand all the time. So we can do left hand. So even if my right hand's closer to it, it will keep an eye on my left hand. And same thing with the right hand. Like so. And so that's how you can use Look at Gizmos in Rec Room. If this video did help you, please like, subscribe. It would mean a lot. Tap the bell. You know what to do. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.